Exercise 4. CNC milling using linear interpolation and circular interpolation, create a part. Program for grooving, slot milling and produce component in the machine. Also known this exercise, is contour milling. In this exercise, involves linear interpolation G01, circular interpolation G02 and G03. The depth of groove or slot is 1 mm. We are going to use aluminium material to machine. The workpiece size is 100 m length, 100 mm width and 30 mm thickness. The end mill. Diameter 6 mm is used. The work zero is lower left corner is considered. Let's get started. Open CNC train software. Enter the password and click OK. Let's change the control type. Now the CNC turning is selected. Select control type. The list of controls are available. Now select Fanic O milling. The software is changed to CNC milling mode. Let's enter the workpiece size. Select Job, Tooling. Select Billet Setting. The workpiece. Dimension and Work Zero Setting text box window is available. Enter the length as 100 mm, width 100 mm, thickness 30 mm. The billet shift is known as work zero settings. We are considering the lower left corner as work 0x0 and y0 and top surface of the workpiece as z0. After entering the value, click OK. Next step, we are going to add the end mill in tool library. Select job, tooling. Select tool, offset. Select tool position as 1. We are going to use tool position 1 in milling machine. Now select select tooling. Double click end mill to select. The end mill is added in tool offset. Page in tool position 1. Let's define the diameter of the tool. Enter 3 mm radius and 6 mm diameter. Delete all the tools in tool library. Add the end mill in tool library. Click OK. Once completed the procedure. Let's create part program in CNC editor. Select edit, by default is selected. Click options. Select dual edit. Set the desired font size. In the part program, first step create program header. The program header consists of system unit, definition such metric, feed per minute, homing command, tool change, spindle on and rapid. Positioning to start point of the program. Let's enter the first line of the program. G21 and G94. G21 is metric mode selection. G94 is feed rate unit will be in millimeter per minute. Second line is homing or reference command. Before tool change command, we need to reference the tool. It means that tool and machine table will be kept in safe or parking position. Enter G91. In FANUC controller, the reference will be done in incremental mode only. If not, the tool moves. To work zero position, enter G28. G28 is the command moves the axes to reference position. First, move the Z axis to reference position. Enter Z0. Best practice is always reference Z axis too. Avoid collision with clamping devices. Next line, reference X and Y axes. Enter X0 and Y0. Now enter the tool change command. M06 is tool change. 01 is tool position 1. We have already entered in the 2 offset page. 
Make sure the same tool configuration should be loaded in machine also before machining the part. M03 is spindle on in clockwise direction with speed of 1500 revolutions per minute. Note we don't use M04 in milling machine and always it will be M03. M04 is used only in tapping operation. G90 enables absolute dimension mode. The start position of the part program always in absolute mode only. We don't know the start position in terms of machine coordinate. It is easy to define the start position with respect to work zero position. We have used G91 in reference command line. It is neat to cancel the incremental system and enable the absolute system by executing G90 command. This is very important. G90 should be used otherwise you will get over travel error. Messages because of incremental mode is not cancelled. Move the machine table to start position at rapid traverse command G00. The start position of part program is by 15 mm and Y15 mm. Then move the end mill down to 5 mm clearance above from the work. Peace. This is known as positioning of the table and tool to start position of the part. Program. Note. Always first position the machine work table in X and Y axis, then Z axis. Keep Z axis, the tool, clearance from the workpiece. Let's plunge the workpiece 1 mm depth of cut, in linear interpolation G01 with feed rate of 50 mm per minute. Now move the tool in X direction 70 mm without changing Y direction in linear interpolation. Increase the feed rate when you are machining X and Y direction. Decrease the feed rate when you are plunging the workpiece in Z direction. The feed rate depends on workpiece hardness, tool, type and it material type. Refer standard cutting tool catalog to define feed rate and spindle. Speed. Enter X70 and Y15 with feed rate 100 mm per minute in linear interpolation G01. Next move the tool in circular interpolation clockwise direction G02 with radius of 15 mm. The start point of the arc is X70 and Y15. The end point of arc is x85 and y30. Note, the end point of the arc to be defined in g02 or g03 block. Enter g02, then x85 and y30. Enter radius is r15. Next line will be linear interpolation G012. X85 and Y85 coordinates with the same feed rate of 100 mm per minute. Move the tool in linear interpolation G01 to X30 and no change in Y coordinates 85. Now move the tool in circular. Interpolation G03 counterclockwise direction to the arc end point of X15 and Y70 with the radius of R15. Next line will be linear interpolation G01 to X15 and Y15 coordinates with the same feed rate of 100 mm per minute. This is the start position of the profile or contour. What is the next process? Add program footer after the machining operation. The program footer will be tool. Retraction to safe position. Reference the axes, spindle stop and program stop. 
Retract the tool to Z5 millimeters. Stop the spindle with M05 command. Let's move the machine table and tool to reference. Position by G28 command. Now the program is completed. Use M30 to stop the program execution. Save the program before simulation. The file type should be fanicmil.fnm. Let's simulate the park program. Select single edit. Click auto mode. Press reset to place the cursor from the beginning or first line of the program. Then press cycle start to run the program. The simulation result is shown. You can use this program to machine the part in the CNC milling machine thing.